Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze2K, this is just going to be a short little news video about Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, as you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield is coming to the Switch on November 15th, which is next month, and it's just under a month away actually, so it's coming right around the corner. I'm super stoked, super excited to play it, I've not played Pokemon in a while, although I did play Pokemon Fire Red about two months ago, I'll exclude that, but I've not dedicated a lot a lot of time into playing the newer Pokemon games um, and I'm super excited to get into this one now let's get into the news that's been revealed um, 251 Pokemon from previous generations will be returning in Pokemon Sword and Shield now this is just a list of ones that are confirmed there might be more confirmed at a later time the closer we get to the release but these are just ones that are confirmed and there's a lot of good news but there's some Pokemon that are missing so Gen 5 has the highest amount of returning Pokemon at 52 Gen 3 has the least at 25 let's have a look at the list here I'll put a I'll put a link in the description to where you can see the full list yourself, but we'll take a little skim through it here. So Gen 1 has 49, Gen 2 has 28 coming back, Generation 3, 29, Gen 4, 32, Generation 5 has a lot, 58, Generation 6, 28, Gen 7, 27. So let's have a quick look at the list here, let's just skim through it real slowly. Um, Gen 1, we've got a lot of big names from Gen 1, we've got Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, we've got Pikachu of course, we've got Vulpix, we've got Viaplume, Diglett, Dugtrio, we've got Machop, Machamp, Farfetch'd, Hitmonchan, Coughing, we've got Ditto, Lapras, and I'm glad they've brought Gengar back. Gengar's one of my favourites. Jolteon, Vapiron, Eevee, Lapras, Gyarados. I love Gyarados as well, one of my favourite water types. And Onix. Um, so yeah, you might be noticing there's a few Pokemon missing from this list, like Blastoise, Venusaur. How can you not have those as Pokemon confirmed in the new game? Because I was really looking forward to having a Venusaur this time around. Um, but yeah. Blastoise and Venusaur haven't made the cut so far. I mean, it might be announced that they do come to the game. Like I said, this is just a provisional list of Pokemon that are confirmed to come back. Let's have a look at Gen 2. Um, Gen 2 and Gen 1 are the game, the generations that I'm most familiar with. Um, we've not got Totodile or Cyndaquil from Gen 2, which I'm kind of bummed about a little bit. Um, I did like Cyndaquil and Total Dial. I was kind of hoping they would make a return. But like I said, they might still make a return. These are This is just a provisional list. Um, here's Gen 2. Larvitar. That's good. Um, Gen 3. Generation 4. Lucario is making a return. I'm glad about Lucario. I do like... Lucario is one of my favourite fighting types. Um, I've had a Lucario god in several games now. I love Lucario. It's so good. Um, so that's Generation 4. Let's have a look at Gen 5. A lot of these Pokemon I'm not familiar, familiar with. But Gen 5 does have a lot of Pokemon coming back. Bunnelby, of course, we're getting Bunnelby back from Gen 6. Helioptile, yep. Gudra and Gumi, yeah, those were announced already. Um, Generation 7. There we go. So that is the list. If you want the full list and want to go back and look at it yourself, just head down to the description. I'll put a link down there. Um, and also on the news is we have... A first sneak peek at the Pokemon Sword and Shield title screen, which has been unveiled in Japan, of course. Um, as you can see, here it is. Um, there's Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. It looks like a video is going to be running in the background whilst you're on the title screen with the logos up front. So there it is. Of course, it's Japanese, um, but that looks pretty interesting. Now, I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but... If you don't know already, a, a special limited edition Nintendo Switch Lite is coming out. Um, it's themed around Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not super stoked about it. I mean, it does look cool. I'm tempted to pick it up. I'm just not a fan of the grey. Although it does remind me 
remind me of the old Game Boys and stuff that used to be grey. But I'm not stoked about the colour. It does look pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new Pokemon themed Switch Lite. Are you going to pick one up? Have you been waiting on it to come out? Um, it does look cool. I'm thinking about it. But I did see this on Google which kind of had me excited a bit. If they released a Gengar a Gengar themed Nintendo Switch Lite, I would buy this straight away. How cool does this look? This is It's not official, it's not official, it's just a fan made concept, but it does look insanely cool. Um, if they brought this out, I would buy it day one. But yeah, let me know what you think below. Are you happy with the 251 Pokemon that have been confirmed so far? Let me know. Um, there's a few there's a few Pokemon that, that are not listed that I'm kind of disappointed about. I'm hoping that they do make it into the final list. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon left out. I think there's like 500 plus Pokemon that have been left out so far that have yet to be confirmed. Um, now, bear in mind, it is going to be a big game. Each Pokemon is going to be 3D modelled, so it's going to it's maybe a it's maybe asking too much for them to include every single Pokemon ever released. Um, but from what I saw on the list, there's a lot of good Pokemon that I do like on that list. Um, so I'm fairly happy. I'm hoping Venusaur, Blastoise make it on. I'm hoping... I'm hoping... We're, I'm hoping we're going to see Totodial and Cyndaquil as well. They're two of my favourites, Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of happy with the list, kind of hot and cold. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And as I said before, please subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. We're like in the 900s now, so we're almost at 1,000 subs. I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Um, thank you for watching, and if you want to see more Switch content, um, and more tech and gaming videos just hit that subscribe button check out the channel I've got a ton of cool videos on the channel already. So thank you again for watching. It's blaze 2 I'll see you in the next video. Peace